guys, Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. Today we are going to be talking about a very popular subject and that is how do I correct um, transactions that was recorded, income transaction that was recorded incorrectly. All right, here we go, QuickBooks. All right. Okay, here we are, QuickBooks Online. We're in banking, by the way, we are on the accountant view. If you need to change it because you're on the business view, top right hand side gear menu, and then you can click switch to accounting view. And you can switch back, back and forth without any problem, okay? So here we are, back to um, banking on the left hand side, banking. And we're looking at a couple of transactions here so with QuickBooks Online you will you always want to match the income transactions to a deposit not to the invoice and maybe a payment but most preferably just to deposit to stay consistent um, now a few examples of that we're, we're gonna take a look here what we want to make sure is that the dates are correct, so I see the amount here. The amount is correct. And if you have multiple deposits for the same amount, you may want to open up this transaction and click on the deposit here to make sure that this is right. So I verify everything is right, so I can close over here and I can go ahead and match it. Uh, with, the, with the payments um, in QuickBooks Online, you want to match to a bill payment or to a check. Now, if you don't enter bills, keep in mind that bill payment is only available for Quick, uh, QuickBooks Plus and Advanced subscription, not to Simple Start. So, leave maybe essentials. Okay, but not to Simple Start for sure. So, if you don't use bill payment, that's okay. You can just categorize right from here as long as you don't have. Um, an expense that was already entered so you, it's okay not to match it if you don't have anything if not you're duplicating those transactions so that's the most important thing is not not to duplicate so you see a sales receipt here uh, we want to avoid that right because sometimes you may end up matching it to the incorrect one and like I said I like consistency so what we're gonna do to fix that we click on the amount, we click on the sales receipt, and see that it was routed to checking. I always want it to be routed to undeposited funds. So we're gonna save and close. So this way, I can actually go on the plus new here and record the deposit. And my mind is 337 on May 28th so bank deposit okay there it is May 30th 28th yeah. okay so May 28th I want to make sure I change the date here if not it's not gonna match it correctly I want to make sure that this is the right account that I'm depositing it to so I'm gonna save and close I recorded the deposit and here it's time to match right okay all right so here we're gonna create an invoice and go through the whole process so plus new uh, we're gonna do a, an invoice you can do a sales receipt if you already received the money as well an invoice if you're still sending to the customer okay so we're gonna make it to Amy's bird sanctuary we're gonna do it due on receipt and let me take a look at the date again july 28th is <laughs> for next month okay so this is just a simple account by the way guys so we're ahead we're over a month ahead of our time here okay so i'm gonna select one of the products i'm just gonna click on con concrete i'm gonna say that now let's suppose see the concrete um not concrete in general but this concrete fountain design is actually taxable okay and we talk about $55 is what hit the bank right but let's suppose that I I charged the customer $55 and I didn't charge uh, the sales tax right but here 
it's going to charge me the sales tax no matter what. So you have to pay your taxes um, no matter what, even if you haven't charged. So you better charge your clients the sales tax, right? So any, anyhow, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and create this invoice. I'm going to save and close. The next step is to record the payment. So there's a couple of ways for us to do it. You can do it sales and then invoice or sales and customer. That's the best way. And just put the name Amy's Bird Sanctuary is right here. I see the invoice. I'm going to go ahead and click on receive payment. Let's suppose that I just uh, record the payment for the full amount of the invoice, which is 59 40 but keep in mind that is not the amount that hit the bank but let's suppose I did it by mistake I'm sending two undeposited funds we're gonna say save and close okay so now we're gonna record the uh, the deposit and once again we just recorded the deposit not considering that the amount is incorrect so the date is right checking but look at the amount gonna save and close okay now I am going to banking and of course I am not going to find a match because it's not here and let's suppose that I didn't find a match and I just added the transaction so I duplicated everything so when you reconcile you'll see those two transactions how to fix that okay we're going to go ahead and click on categorize the first thing we want to do is undo bring it back now keep in mind if you already reconcile you're going to have a problem and you, we, we can talk about that on another video how to fix it but um, anyhow we we brought it back now we want to make sure that we find a match so we click on the 55 we're gonna click on find a match so there's one way for us to fix it and we can find that transaction it's not here right uh, it should be, but this is a sample account. <laughs> uh, but we know that the deposit was recorded, right? So if we click here, bank deposit, remember it was recorded, but it was recorded incorrectly. So I can actually click on the counter clock and my last deposit is going to show up. Now, how do I fix this deposit? I need to delete the deposit, I need to delete the payment, and then I got to go into the invoice and make correction. The other way is if I go to the deposit, I can put, uh, see where it says receive from, I can, um, I can just go ahead and put Amy's Sanctuary and then actually, yeah, I can put under discount giving um, and now keep in mind that I would put a negative amount here of four uh, four dollars and forty cents so that I can come up to the amount of fifty five dollars right so I made this correction right from here the other way is to make the correction in the invoice right uh, if I make this correction here and save and close the date is correct I can go ahead and, and record the deposit right that's one way to do it now if I want to make sure that I correct the invoice because the invoice is incorrect now you can do that as well so I, I can click on the deposit I'm gonna delete the deposit I'm gonna work backwards so you to you gotta first delete the deposit then delete the payment and don't delete the invoice you just want to make uh, make correction on the invoice if I click on the plus new and bank deposit remember I sent two on deposited funds so the payment is going to be here so I can actually click on Amy's bird sanctuary and it's going to bring me to the payment right so I can go ahead and delete the payment not the invoice just the payment and then I can go to the invoice um, I can go into sales I can go to invoice here uh, but to make it easier I like to go to the customer and then I can go to Amy's bird sanctuary and here it is I can go ahead and click on the 5940 I'm gonna make a 
uh, uh, I'm gonna make a correction in the invoice itself so the customer may be able to see it so it might be that this is the way you wanted to do it so we can count uh, we can we can name it discounts and refund and we're gonna enter a negative amount because I want to give a discount so 440 which is the exact amount of the sales tax right so I enter this discount we're gonna save and close and now I'm gonna receive payment and it's $55 July 8th undeposited funds save and close gonna record the deposit now bank deposit select the transaction make sure the bank account and the date is correct that's very important if anything is incorrect there it's not gonna be right okay we're gonna save and close there is another way to to fix that as well um, let's suppose I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the deposit. I'm gonna make. Did I match it? No, I didn't. Okay. Click on the deposit here. It's gonna bring me the deposit. Let's suppose that I put an extra dollar here. Let's see fees. Uh, merchant fees. Okay. Let's receive from Amy's. What the merchant fees? fees oh. a call commission and fees whatever it is I'm just adding something to this invoice I'm gonna put one dollar here all right so keep in mind I, I put this amount it's gonna throw my balance off so what's gonna happen is that this is not gonna show off so the other way to f to do it is to click on the amount and find a match. Remember, I recorded that deposit and it's right here. See that? But it's off by a dollar. So from this page, I actually can fix it. So if I scroll down, see this little gray button that says resolve? If I click over here, it's going to bring me that uh, line where I can add a correction to this deposit. So uh payee let's see amy sanctuary uh and i i want to categorize that as fees again i'm gonna reverse basically i'm just reversing uh the commission and fees and i'm gonna put here minus a dollar because we're taking away from this deposit so we can match so now it's 55 dollars see that so now the difference is zero we're gonna save it and voila so that's the other way so that's three different ways to 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 do the same thing pretty much so you pick it <laughs> all right hopefully this was useful to you if you like this videos uh, if you like my videos <laughs> I should say give us a thumbs up please and subscribe to our channel this is how we keep coming back and bringing you more more and more and more content and to free tutorials on how to use QuickBooks Online. I wish I had that 20 years ago, um, but we didn't. So we had to learn the hard way. I want to make sure that you don't have to go through what I went through and have an easier way to learn. We have technology now. We have QuickBooks <laughs> uh, tutorial on YouTube and um, Hope you like that but please subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing those videos those free tutorials to you on a constant basis um, share with your friends share with your co-workers support our channel <laughs> and I thank you so much for watching our our video today to staying with us to the end hope to see you next time very shortly and enjoy your summertime with your family and until next time keep on smiling